This gentleman is actually taller than myself and I'm six two, standing over her. And at that moment, I immediately rushed over to grab and pull her back to remind this man that this is a child here in this place. Pastor, you need to repent. You need to repent. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, get the merch link in the description section. Go check out our brand new merch. They go hard in the paint, the coldest conservative merch in the game. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this, this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Pastor Brian Hoffman. <laughs> Exhibit A. I'm upset with this brother because he was a conservative. And I can, I'm going to show you his campaign video. He was a conservative touting that he's uh, pro-gun, pro-God, pro-law enforcement. And now he woke. He done went woke. Your brother done went woke. I'm upset about that, but but even more so, I'm upset about the virtue signaling. Because once the brother become a liberal, he has the virtue signal. So there's an event that happened. I'm going to let him explain it at a city council meeting where there was or, or a school board meeting where there's CRT being discussed. And for whatever reason, I don't know why white parents seem to care about their kids more than black parents. And I'm not saying all, but everybody should be trying to ban the teaching of CRT in the schools. Why is it that a lot of the black parents that you see in this video are for it and, and the white parents are against it? And anybody that have any common sense knows that critical race theory taught in the schools are detrimental to the growth and success of young people. Teach black people that they're victims and white people that they're the, the victimizers. I, it's very simple. Let me play the clip of this brother and then I'm going to debunk all that he said. And he owe the white man that he doxed an apology. Wrote a clip. In a moment, I looked to my left, and all I saw was a tall man, white, mm -hmm. we could put a you know, color to it for understanding purpose, standing over this small child. Now, the young lady, she's about 4'11", maybe five feet at best. This gentleman is actually taller than myself, and I'm 6'2", standing over her. And at that moment, I immediately rushed over to grab and pull her back to remind this man that this is a child here in this place. And so there was nothing going through my mind other than there was a child here, a young black female, and I wanted to make sure that she knew she wasn't by herself. She wasn't by herself. No, that moment, Hold on, go back. I want y'all to see this real quick. Look at where the video starts. They conveniently didn't play the video I'm about to show y'all. They start the video where, where the white guy is in front of the black girl. They framed it as if this white guy is just in their face challenging her. This is how they framed the video. Now, the, the mofo that recorded this, I guarantee you they recorded more than just this part of the video. But of course, they cut the video and mocked it so they can play social justice. I'm going to show you the real video here in a second. Let me let them finish. And then your boy with the Hitler stash. Beautiful. Bro, why you got a Hitler mustache? The brother got a Hitler mustache. Okay. I all right, Let, let's listen to him, social justice, uh, uh, explain. Dear brother, to see that, and obviously the young uh, leader will remember how the community contextualized through your actions stood up for her in her moment of need. Let's go back to the origin of this. The debate or the argument was about critical race theory, and the board voted to somehow eliminate the teaching of critical race theory or to ban it, it's not even taught in K through 12 education. Critical race theory is not taught in K through 12 education. I, I swear, black people, I wondered, man, is this, is, was, were we under a spell? I mean, what, 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 how can you be that ignorant with an education, got your Hitler stash going and your fresh edge up, and you saying critical race theory isn't taught in schools? Why, why, why would why would all these parents be showing up at the event? Why would they have to ban critical race theory in the school if they ain't teaching it anyway? They everybody just up there just playing. They just waste. They just up there just to be up there. They just make it up a critical race theory just be, for the for the heck of it. All right, now let me show the real video because both of these boys are frauds. Now let's pull this up because they didn't dang near ruin this man's life making up a scenario as if he's attacking a black girl and he's a racist and white supremacist. 
All right, B. Tatum gonna, B. Tatum gonna uh, uh, clear the script for you. Roll the clip. I'm gonna point these people out. <laughs> this is the guy that is in question, the white man. Here's the black girl wearing an African flag that is in question. A black panther flag. I don't know. These could be some African country colors or something, but she wearing this flag and the white man is here. <laughs> she right here. He minding his business. She ain't even looking in this direction. <laughs> now he's talking to somebody over here. He told somebody to shut up. That's all you hear him say. Watch this. Watch the girl come around. She told him, she told him to go back to his country. That man ain't looked at that girl for two seconds. That man ain't looked at that girl for two seconds. Let's count how much conversations he had with that little girl that got in front of him and put her hand on his chest with that phone. That man ain't talking to nobody. He talking to some adult over here. According to what they were saying is somebody said, go back to your country. It wasn't him. This man had nothing to do with it. And she didn't got in his face, pushed the phone into his chest, Let's count how many seconds he even looked at her. One, two, and he ain't looking at her no more. Two seconds. Now he's looking at the guy over here. He said, don't touch me. And now he's looking at somebody over here. Look, he ain't looked at the girl again. He looked at the girl. One, he ain't even looked at her again. And then here come uh, Captain Saber Negro jumping in here like he's some kind of uh, Black Panther. I, I, I want to play it one more time for the people in the back smoking crack. Let's go through because it, it's unequivocal. This man is over here minding his business. Pastor Doolittle is over here doing whatever. This girl is doing whatever she doing. That man standing here, she walking over here. Pastor Doolittle is over there. She told him to go back to his country. She jumped and got in his face and pushed the phone into his chest. And for two seconds... He said, don't you put your hands on me. And now he's talking to the adults. And, oh, he, he became the savior. Going on a whole apology tour, acting like he acting like he didn't done something. And then got him on Dr. Richie, a.k.a. Hitler, got him on his show talking about critical race theory. And let me show you the, the campaign video because if y'all didn't believe me then, Let's play this campaign video and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Roll the clip. Hi, my name is Brian Hawkins and I'm the most dangerous political figure in California. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I'm black, I'm conservative, I back the blue, I protect the second amendment. I'm a pro-life person, all life, your whole life. I believe every livelihood is essential and I'm a black man saying it. I'm exactly the type of person you need in Congress, somebody that can't be bought. I make big things happen, even in a small town like this. I'm not going there to make friends. I'm going to make a difference for you, your family, your small business, and your livelihood. This isn't a liberal or a conservative thing. This is an American thing. So help me take your voice to DC. Support my campaign, and let's make a difference together. Rebuild, restore, renew America. This is our country. And there's a whole plethora of evidence of him becoming woke and now saying America is racist and all of these different things. I, I just want to point this out. Every time I see black folks creating these fake scenario cutting videos, I'm going to call you out for it. You are supposed to be a pastor. You are supposed to have discernment. And you want to come out here and you want to create a situation that don't really exist. You ain't, you ain't really standing in front of that girl. You ain't blocking that girl as if that man was trying to attack her. That man talking to somebody over here, she put the phone in his chest and he go, hey man, don't put, don't, don't, don't touch me. Look girl, I mean, you're, like, you're a kid, what you doing? And he's over here talking to these people and then him swooping in, act like he's saving his girl life. Y'all got the real film. You got the real video. Maybe we'll link it. I don't know if we'll link it or not. We got the video. Watch it on the screen. I played it two or three times. Pastor Hawkins need to make an apology because he got on Dr. Richie's show, a.k.a. Hitler, he got on his show, and he out there exposed, trying to put this man business out there. All of this over CRT that shouldn't be taught in school, 
parents standing up and saying don't be teaching that bull crap. Dumb people that happen to have the same melanin as me want to argue that you should brainwash your kids into victimhood. All of it, they get into an argument and they create a fake racist scenario. It, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. I'll be waiting for that apology. You need to apologize to this man because I just showed you the clip of the man not doing nothing to that girl. He looked at her for two seconds, said one word to her. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself, the stuff that y'all hear hoodwinking people on. Like, subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.